I greet you with peace. I greet you with love. The people that came to give you the book to believe, they are scared of your ancestral heritage. They know exactly what you are. So they now conclude that if we don't look for something to divert these people's thinking, if we don't look for something to keep their mind busy, then we will become their slaves if they know who they are. So because of their own fear, they had to come up with an idea. And the idea, the simplest idea they came up with was to introduce you to something and make you believe this thing is what creates everything. And this thing is greater than everybody. So the moment they are telling you this thing is Alpha and Omega, is greater than everybody, you will not automatically start thinking it includes mm -hmm. you and you will not start having interest in tapping and connecting with that now which is greater than everything so that moment right there the only reason why they were doing this now was to just make you now become smaller smaller in what sense let me explain it. I'm just taking a walk and I felt like sharing this. Smaller in what sense? That's your divine spirit you carry within you, which is the same as the energy that rules this universe, which is Khalifa of God, itself, itself. That energy right there is a big threat to them. They know if you are in charge of that energy, you become a free man. So before they gave you the book, they created something. Guess what they created? A bank. <laughs> they created banks. So that you will start looking for material things that don't carry value and start interpreting your own value through that there are material things that has no value so that when they bring down a book for you they will tell you that you have to pray hard and work hard so you can achieve those material things that you believe you need or you want to survive with in this earth so meanwhile the real game and the real, <laughs> the real game and the real trick here is they just want you to be busy doing nothing. They just want you to be busy doing nothing. They just want you to be right there, leaving yourself and chasing nothing. Let me try and explain it to you. That your spirit is everything. So, they know that if they did not create money, bank, and they just come and start telling you, uh, come and give your life to God. You will tell them you don't need the God. You don't need anything because you have. You can do everything. You can just leave your house, go to your farm. You can use your strength, your farm, and before you know, you're taking care of your wife, your children. You don't really need anybody to do anything for you. So no, you have to first bend your reality by introducing a lot of things like money. So those things they introduced now, you now first will just be feeling it that you are suffering. And that moment where you are so, where you are feeling it now like you are suffering because you are not dependent on something that is not natural. Imagine your money is just a piece of paper they are printing from the machine, and yet <laughs> they make it like they make it look like it's coming from inside universe. It's just a machine printing it. No money is coming from outside this earth. All money is being printed in the bank with from a machine and inks. So now they will put value on that. 
So your own natural resources automatically will become useless. It will become useless. You now will start depending on what they want you to depend on. So you need them now to even survive. And they will start telling you, hmm, for you to survive, so you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. So you will kind of like, ah, but how can I have all these things? They will not tell you it's God. God is the one that helps us to have all these things. So if you want to also have all these things, you have to come and join and follow the God. Then it starts making sense to you. Let me use Bini Kingdom for example. Bini Kingdom was already expanding. Bini Kingdom has already become an empire before the Portuguese came. But when the Portuguese start trading with Benin Kingdom, Benin Kingdom start having interest in something. What was that? Benin Kingdom now noticed that all these traders that are coming from Europe, they have fire arms, they have weapons. So they want to have weapons too, because they are empires, they are great warriors, and they are fighting wars and winning. So for them, from a military strategic point of view, for them it makes sense to also have firearms, it makes sense to also have weapons so that that can help now them to keep protecting their people and saving their land and expanding their kingdom. So now they now speak with the Portuguese traders. Portuguese traders, as smart as they are, of course, they tell them, ah, ah, you don't understand. We don't just sell these kind of things for people like that. So you have to join our courts. You have to be worshipping our God. You have to tap into our own uh, our own culture. This is the only way we can trust you. Then, then Beniz are like, but we have our own thing. We can do our own thing. They are like, yeah, it does not matter. You will just add this one and still add to it. Then Beniz says, okay, no problem. What did Beniz Oba start doing? Some send their prince, their son, to Portugal, to Lisbon, to go and study marine, to go and study their way of life over there. And when they get there, what is the first thing these Portuguese did? They baptized them. Imagine a prince now end up in Portugal. They baptize them. And then they make them swear oath. What is the oath? At that time, the Pope has already decreed that any nation that is not a Christian nation will not be allowed to have weapons, will not be allowed to have access to guns because they were scared of Muslims, all those Arabic nations. They were having... But don't forget, uh, Muslims rule Europe for 700 years. So when Europe later finally survived, <laughs> when Europe finally survived and freed themselves, so they were very careful. They don't want to share guns, weapons with anybody who is not a Christian. So for them to sell weapons for you, you have to come and baptize and become a Christian. That was what they were doing to some of us. We have like two, maybe three. Three of us are baptized. They are baptized and uh, they have so, some of them also become sailors in Portuguese empire. And then they did not just stop there. Portuguese don't just give them weapons and say go. Portuguese also sent some missionaries with them to Benin Kingdom. And then they now have to make agreements. But Benin people, because they were so, uh, we, we were so spiritually aligned, we tell them, the, my ancestors told them, no, we cannot worship your God. Because we know God already, we know God and worship God already, so we don't know what you are talking about. That was where Benin I tell them, the only way we can coexist with you with this, our new treaty is, give us that your church, but inside that your church we will be worshipping that God the way we know God to be. Then I agreed, which now lead to the creation of Arosa, uh, the first church in West Africa. Now lead to the creation of Arosa. So, what I'm trying to say here now is, the Portuguese could just have given them the weapon. After all, we have money, we are rich empire, we can buy those weapons. But no, they don't do it. Ask yourself why. For them was important to expand their doctrines. It was important to expand their messianic ideas, to initiate kings in around Africans. Because why? They know that if they can catch your king, if they can catch your king, then it's finished for you. Go to the go to the east of Nigeria, for example, among the Igbo tribe. You will see the way the missionaries also did there. What happened? They just noticed that these are incredible daughters of Ezewain. Eighty percent are 
eighty percent of Igbos, especially the women, they are all they are all water children, and these are incredible beings. So for them, it was important to quick quick penetrate them. That's why Catholic focus on the east of Nigeria. <laughs> That's why Catholic focus on the east of Nigeria because they understand your energy. <laughs>